Folks, today we are learning Foo Fighters, Arlandria, and this one's going out for Josh Billingsley over at Patreon. Thanks indeed for your support, sir. Now, I'm using a couple of pedals for the tone here. There's a really interesting tone on Dave's guitar part, which sounds a little bit like this. Hear that? That is um, reverb with a hefty amount of pre-delay. Have a listen to it on the album, you'll hear it appearing, I think, in the right um, speaker. Really cool, isn't it? So I'm using the Crazy Tube Circuits High Power and the uh, Empress FX Reverb because that's got a pre-delay setting on the plate reverb. And I'm using the high watt side of the high power. This is my clean tone. Sounds like that, but with the high power really sort of lifts it up and brightens it up doesn't it not too much gain i mean but it isn't clean right so that's my sort of bass amp tone if you like on top of my amp and then for the other parts i'm using the crazy tube circuits and obtainium because it's awesome so that with the high power is going to give you the you know the middle sort of sort of tones and then bash on the uh, amp side of that pedal which is a Dumble uh, style circuit and we have this. You know all that sort of stuff. Don't really need the Tube Screamer into that, I mean that's uh, this is just the amp side into the high, high power. <laughs> I think later on there's also uh, a low octave. I haven't got an octave I've plugged in, but that's for the... For that stuff later on. So let's crack on with the first part, which is uh, what I just played, essentially. So we'd have two guitar parts. I think one's playing an octave above. So we have this. So you're going to play. I have tabbed the octave, which is. Which is that. Basically the same thing, just played an octave above. Could actually play it here. Which makes more sense fingers wise, but you know, up to you. I'm only going to concern myself with the lower part, but you've got it tabbed if you need it. The third bar then goes. And then you do a little stab at the end, okay? So pretty straightforward stuff, but then we get into Dave's part, and I'm going to put my little um, reverb with pre-delay on and the um, high watt side of the pedal. This, for me, is probably uh, Dave's most difficult part, for me to play anyway, because there is a load of string muting going on. So he is playing... 4-4 four, four with a um, muted D string in between, right? It's all par muted too, and you're playing quite lightly. So, what we have is this. That's going on, but he's also playing the bass note. binds both together and this is difficult for a few reasons the first one isn't too bad you could either mute it with a bit of meat off the back of this finger your second finger okay but then as soon as you take it off you're going to need to lightly apply your first finger okay 
you could just rest your first finger there for the first part. But that gets a bit weird because the temptation is to put all three down and you'll hear which is not right at all okay so I've been leaving my first finger off taking that one off and then applying that one very lightly behind it to get that those first two parts now this is the bit where it gets really tricky because then you're gonna go going to need to meet the two strings in between and so you've got four strings in play now right and two of them in the middle are muted so I would go for like a first and second finger thing here but then you slide it down one fret and you apply your second finger Okay, and that is tricky. What I've done here is I've put my middle finger just resting on this string from this part. Okay, so when you go to the E, I slide it down. So I'm applying the same pressure with my second and third fingers here, but then you've got to put your first finger down on the second fret there. Okay, and then E abandons it and hits an open note for the uh, to go back right to the uh, starting point hear that I'm still not muting it properly right so it's gonna take me a while to get used to it but that's what I've been aiming for let's try it one more time that one though that's tough so one more time slowly because I do think this is just super tricky It's not perfect, but getting there, isn't it? And then to speed, three, four. Now I'm adding the clon side of the unobtainium to the uh, high power, and I'm taking the reverb off for the next bit, which is. Which is loads easier, right? We've got four, two, four, and then I'm taking my third finger off for the part, right? Which is zero, two, four. And you can flatten your first finger for the E. I'm also leaving my little finger on the fourth fret. Right? If you wanted to fill it out a bit more, you don't have to. You could abandon it at that point and just do an E power chord to an F sharp power chord. So that's that. All eighth notes and palm muted, right? Then we go. And then to the next part, you could use, you know, a bit more beef for that. Bit more there, which is both channels of the unobtainium. Um, so what we've got though is a unison bend, ninth fret on the B, eleventh fret on the G, and then you play two more on the B. And you repeat that round. Do that right, four bars worth. Um, the last bar is just you abandon it for a slide and then you go into the chorus. Chorus is cool. Um, I've got loads of distortion for this one. And then we have. So we've got a C sharp power chord. An A. E, Dave actually frets the full uh, E major chord there. Then to a B, to an F sharp. And again here, you could use, you know, 
whichever fingers you like. I like to use my little finger. So you get a really clean change between the chords. I'm just moving I'm just moving my first finger down one fret and then adding my third finger onto the um, fourth fret on the A for that. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Round again. This time, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, on the B and the C. Then we go into this part, which is lovely, goes like this. So that's a C sharp minor. F sharp major. An A, you can play that here. Or here. B to C. Like that. Okay, so Dave plays that. I think Pat does as well. Other guitar though has this fill. Chris is playing that. Um, now, you could combine those two, but let's go for Chris's just quickly. We have the C sharp minor again. Little fill. So one, two, three. Hammer on and pull off. Six, four. Okay, again. Three, four. We have um, with unison bends like that. Okay, you could, uh, as I say, combine the two and play. So there, if you use your little finger there, slide it down two frets and then apply a you do thumb over the top if you want, or you know, bridge it like that. Then we have another sort of light overdrive part. So we have that going on basically with two and four fretted. Then uh, E to F again. I think he sticks on the F sharp there. Uh, the other guitar part is playing. more overdrive for that one but you know pretty straightforward then we're back into the verse um there's a different part that chris plays here which is goes like that right awesome stuff so we've got six four zero then you shift and i'm using these two fingers here Four four zero zero zero. Then we go two four zero, and then and you're gonna play that around three times. So let's do it slowly together. Three four. fourth time we play like that now this time a really cool part in the chorus which goes got that going on right 
take a little bit of the dirt off there. So we have four 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 zero. You don't really want the A string ringing out here, otherwise you'd have. Just sounds messy, right? So I'm kind of muting it a little with my right hand. Or you could mute it with one of your, your fingers or your left hand. But it gets a bit complicated. If you find that too tricky, you could just do fret it at the fifth fret on the E, right? You know? Or you could play like that if you want. But I see Dave playing it this way, so this is how I'm teaching it. We have. Again there. So we've got E. And then we go to the F sharp. Like that, okay? So slowly. Three, four. Like that. You do that five times, the last two times. You got that that comes in again twice back into the chorus all that stuff um back into all of that stuff goes around again and then you go back into this that okay then we go back into the intro part now this part here when you come in to play it you could actually put the you could actually put the G sharp in the root so you'd have but I think you might only do it the second time you know so up to you you could put that in there as well if you want then we're into this again those this time when this comes in plays that twice but then you get so the first time you've got next time it goes ninth up one string effectively it's still on the ninth fret on the E but the 12th fret this time needs to be bent up and you stop on that uh, four and on the uh, ninth fret on the top E, right? Then you go back into the chorus. And again the second time. Into this again. Twice round of that, but you will hear another guitar part coming in over the top, which I think is double stops. It might just be a single note, but um, you could play this. It sounds nice anyway. Three, four, one. Like that, right? So I'm using my third and uh, little finger there because I'm going to do four of them, right? But there's a uh, an eighth note rest just before. So one, two, three, four, one. Then I'm sliding down, but I'm switching to my third and second fingers here for the eighth and seventh fret. And then a slide. Because then... I just flatten my first finger for these parts. 
Just as per the tab, right? Then um, this comes in as well. And that's over there. And that's how you end. And this one is... So that's it. I don't think I need to go through that anymore. I think you have all you need. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.